Hi everyone, in this video we will create a drop down list which we will fetch the data from the database. Okay, I have two tables. Okay, the cut the product table where I have ID, product name, and category ID. And the second table is the category table where I have the category A and category B. First, I will pitch this data and show in a uh, list drop down list. Then I will enter the data. Okay, for example, I am entering the prime, uh, inputting, inserting the product. So I should s select the category based on that category. I will store that in the product table. So now let's perform this uh, action. This code we will write. So first of all, I will create a form where the first thing is I will have an input field uh, for example label product name The second field would be the drop down list with us, the select. Okay, so now in the select, we will write our code, we will fetch those data from the database. So, to pitch the data first, we should create the connection. So, I have already created the connection. See, it is the connection that I have created. Okay, now I will include this in my code. So, first, I will start the PHP extract uh, script. Let's head and just include first of all the db connection.php file. Now we will fetch the data from database. Categories is equal to MySQL i query and here for I will pass my connection. Okay, this connection and the second parameter would be our query select steric from category so now let's run a while loop while category is equal to mysql i fetch array and i will pass the categories So now let's close our PHP script and here I will write the HTML code option. Yeah, the value would be equal to the PHP echo and that will be C ID. It will pitch the uh, ID of uh, the a category table and set that as a value okay what it will do it will pitch the id of the category table and it will be the value of the option and the name would be let's pitch the name echo c category name and now let's close the HP script so first of all we will check that the video pitched right or not so let's run our server local server local host then we have the those files are in fetch folder okay we have this drop down so let's click on this see we have those two categories category a and category b okay category a and category b as we had here in the category table a and b so now whenever we enter for a, a name of the product and we select a category we should store that in a uh, the product table 
so let's create a button here submit name is equal to submit with us so now we will write our php code here here we will uh, for this here the connection and also write that app is set post submit it will execute if the submit was so it will so if it was set the submit so it will execute this following code so first we will get the post this name okay and then first of all we will get this uh, a product name okay let's uh, write something like this name is equal to name and also we will assign a name to the select category After that we will insert it to the product table. So let's write query is equal to my SQL i query and here we will use our connection and here we will write our uh, query insert into product We will insert to the uh, let's see the columns of product table product name and category ID product name category ID values value would be it has the name and also category yeah we will insert these values it is values with us now let's check it if the query so then alert us error so now let's come here so refresh this okay we have this submit button so let's adjust yeah let's for example product one and the category should be b let's submit it done okay that has done so now let's check our database come to the product table see we have our first product product and the category id is two with us
Okay, the category ID was to this category B with us. So it was all about that fetching data from database to the drop down and then back submitting that to the database. Mm, so if you like this video, subscribe our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.